All right, I had to let my computer cool down for a second. Um, ask them what they mean by my epicyte. If they say one person, and that we're saying two persons, then they're, from the start, they're going back to the words of Cyril, and they're agreeing with the Chalcedonian position. If they say two natures, fully God, fully man, not compromised. If the monophysites was... Uh, was basically Christ's humanity was dissolved like a drop of vinegar in the ocean. And use this analogy. Just like when I was doing that video on transgender people, I said basically if you took someone's soul, well, it's what your understanding of the soul is. And if you, oh wait, what the Orthodox Church means by soul, like with noose, and what it means, okay, that, yeah. Okay, when they're using their terms. But you can see in the Old Testament when it says soul, it just means living being, right? So, Cyril. Um, is it Cyril? I'm thinking Cyril. Yeah. Was clearly, when, when he was uh, preaching against the Nestorians, uh, he clearly uh, was enforcing basically what would be at Chalcedon. So ask them, bring the challenge to them. Where do you disagree with Chalcedon? What do you have against Chalcedon? Why did they split from us? Heraclius tried his hardest to get them. That's why they even formed Chalcedon, to try to reconcile. No, look, we're talking across languages here. There's barriers of understanding we shouldn't break the church in half over this. It was Alexandria's ego trip and then their compromise with the invading Arabs, the Saracens, and it was something completely foreign to, uh, to Antioch and Syria, and it got pushed upon those people. That's why there were Maronites, Malachites, uh, the Antiochian Orthodox. I mean, the, 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 that's why there kept being breaks to go with something other than Alexandrian. Uh, so people say, oh, the Syriacs, they're the indigenous, that's the indigenous belief. That's an imported belief from Alexandria. I would say it would be more natural for the Syriacs to be Nestorian. Now, the Syriacs and the Antiochians have basically patched things up. It's just the rest of you guys need to catch up with us. Um, we said, yeah, it doesn't matter who's right who's wrong, we now believe the exact same thing. And if they were messed up in the past, then we imagined that the church was split, but the church was one. We were both part of one church. And it was our blindness, seeing, as a seeing through a glass darkly. And, uh, you know, we don't need these anathemas or excommunications and all this stuff, you know? Um, but should we just get back together? No. But we can recognize each other. And say, hey, brother, hey, sister. And say, so when they say, when they uh, have, when they baptize their child, say, praise God. And we even recognize any Trinitarian baptism, because that's an act of God. And as for the Eucharist, again, that's the work of God. It's not a work of man. So, if they're believing everything and confessing, and they're going, coming from uh, a different tradition that had basically grown that way uh, with thinking they were in disagreement with us but was actually in full agreement with us praise God why do we still need to argue over it I mean what again it's it's their own embarrassment because the reason why they fight this Lord ask them why do you disagree with Chalcedon Look, how, look what Heraclius did, and look what the others did to try to be like, you know, you're not, we're this, we, we love you, you are, you know, we, where would we be without Alexandria? We love Cyril, we, you know, he's a saint, we love Clement of Alexandria, we love Alexandria, we'd be nowhere without Alexandria. Just as we say to the Catholics, we'd be nowhere without Rome. But Rome went its way, and, um, you know, we'd be nowhere without Antioch, we'd be nowhere without Jerusalem. I left one out, didn't I? I'll just 
leave that one out just to. Uh, I'm in Chicago, and there's a lot of ethnocentric. Take back Constantinople. Yeah, I get it, but uh, the new Rome. Well, Russia doesn't recognize it, so I'm not going to recognize it as the new Rome. I'll call Moscow the third Rome then. But yeah, just just take just ask them. It, it's the ball is in their court and always has been. It's not it's not in our court. 